I V M. You're listening to TFG Football. Well, we know the old story how it goes. Uh, India go out and take on an opponent that uh, is better than them on paper. Uh, a really good fight ensues. Uh, they put up uh, a good contest. They gave a nice account of themselves. But the score line says they have lost, and uh, the score line is hardly. you know all the story and that's why this podcast exists otherwise you would just look at the scores and uh, know what happened in a match uh, welcome to tfg indian football podcast uh, we're a little bit down because uh, india lost 2-1 to jordan but boy oh boy if i have not seen uh, you know somebody i mean this is this is not how you go into a football match everything that went down before it uh, the circumstances uh, and uh, kevin What what did you think of uh, this huge nightmare journey that Indian team went through before they reached Jordan for this uh, international friendly? No, this this has been clearly one of the toughest games that we played. You know, the the game actually started uh, two days three days prior, and uh, mm-hmm. you know the challenges uh, were already thrown on India, and it is very it was very likely that the game would have been called off. uh because uh, you know the way india uh, landed up over there you know they reached an installments obviously <laughs> the entire team been <laughs> coming together and obviously uh, along with the, uh, along with, with the players and the set of uh, the, the the coaching staff we also had uh, some of the baggage complaints over there yeah. so you know it, it was you know all uh, destined to be a tough fight for india if not in the pitch already uh, the ordeal was was began two days prior to the match and uh, you know there were talks about uh, having this game called off and that would have been disastrous for india you know, traveling all the way making it through uh, through all the hurdles and yet you know not being able to play a game and a game which we've been looking forward for so long mm-hmm. uh, but uh, thankfully you know it went it went ahead uh, yes uh, this, that's a bit of the, you know talking about the full match and what happened in the match was you know <laughs> even more than what india could have uh, really asked for Uh, but again, a great experience to be there in Jordan. Uh, a lot, lot of uh, taking, uh, or especially the squad. Like, uh, they just gave all out. For, uh, we couldn't have asked more from India. Going through these these uh, tough circumstances, and I, I think uh, we can still hold up our head high as the way we played and uh, against a stronger opponent. Yeah, I mean, uh, if you guys want to know the details of what we're talking about, go to the fangarage. dot com. There's an article up about uh, this travel hell that Indian team went through. First of all, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing that they ended up on two di- uh, separate flights. It's weird because uh, usually the team always travels together. uh but i don't know who does the bookings for the indian team how they could not manage to put them on the same flight i don't know if they had like uh, you know discount coupons that they have applied uh, and uh, <laughs> that's why they needed to make two different bookings or something but look it's a, it's a good thing or a bad thing uh because uh, m- because if it it could be that the uh, the entire team would have uh, reached earlier and uh, all this uh, bullshit would not have happened with the travel or it could be the entire team would have been stuck uh, in the airport for two nights uh, and uh, this thing would be way way worse than it was so because of flash floods in the region and uh, bad weather uh, you know continuous rain thunderstorms uh, what happened was uh, air traffic uh, was uh, you know disturbed in the area so their uh, uh, main uh, flight was supposed to go through dubai right i mean it was it was going to uh, be a connecting flight from dubai uh, <clears throat> sorry it was uh, going to be a connecting flight from kuwait uh, one of the flights was uh, diverted to dubai where most of the players were and uh, uh, they they were uh, delayed uh, in reaching jordan but <laughs> they reached uh, in the morning i think uh, the day before the match in the morning they reached but the others which included both our uh, experienced strikers you know jj was there balwant was there uh, the coach was there uh, the media manager was, was there 
these seven players were stuck in the Kuwait uh, International Airport for two nights. They were in the lounge. They didn't have proper beds. At one point, there was a food shortage. And uh, imagine just going through that. I mean, I'm sure like Kevin, uh, now that you're a dad, you, you go through lack of sleep. Uh, you know, you, you probably get woken up uh, in the middle of the night. It doesn't feel good. And next day, your energy level is sapped. Imagine going through that uh, for two nights in a row, going through worse than that and having food shortage before you're supposed to play a 90-minute international football match. <laughs> okay, how, how, did, how does one do that, man? This is crazy. You know, I, I've been stranded at an airport for seven hours and mm. you know, that, that itself you know, had, had me thinking, uh, do I even you know, attempt to make that travel? And yeah, we had to be over there. It wasn't that you could you know, delay and uh, yeah. uh, pro- probably you know, postpone your, your plan. The, the plans are already set and you need to be there. And, and you know, these are players. <laughs> they don't be there for vacation you know, that you can just relax and probably you yeah. know, give half your bit. So they are, they're, they're representing the nation. They're preparing for you know, one of the biggest tournaments that uh, India has been for almost uh, six, seven years. And mm-hmm. you know, look at that. You know, it's all going through their mind. Jordan friendlies don't come along uh, regularly. And no, you know how the team is gone there. How you're, you're just like uh, just uh, catching up. Yeah, you're tired. You know, you're tired uh, physically. You're tired uh, mentally. But again, you need to give your best even after reaching there. You know, just uh, imagine once you 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 got into uh, over there at, at Jordan, and uh, and and you know, there's so much that you have to offer. You had to offer, but you're thinking, can I do it? Can I do it? Can I do it? But. Uh, it's it's commendable how how we managed to you know put a squad together that that was fighting two one is really not a bad score line and uh, let alone the, you know, the 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 scores I think what fight we put up even after being two uh, zero down it was you know just showing the, the that's a true test of a character. Mm, uh, well, uh, we can say that because of how the match turned out. It could have been way worse. For example, the. Uh, the players who went in there, I mean, the, the players who got stuck uh, for uh, 32 hours at Kuwait, uh, most of them did not make it onto the squad. I don't think anybody was there. Like, we had an empty bench, almost an empty bench. He had on, uh, Constantine only had three substitutes av- uh, available for the match. And uh, none of the strikers made it. Right? I mean, neither JJ nor Balwan. Uh, and uh, by the way, this is this is where my complaint is. Like, you know, the Indian team management, after talk, looking at the situation and talking to the players, they said, dude, we can't do this. You know, this is this is inhuman to put the players in a match after what they've been through. And they told that to Jordan uh, Football Association. Of course, Jordan Football Association could not postpone the match. That's what they asked originally, like postpone this match uh, and uh, uh, we'll, we'll play a day later or two, uh, three days later, whatever. But... Jordan Football Association said, hey, look, Saudi Arabia match is set on the 19th. So we can't postpone this. And uh, I don't know what went forth between the IFF officials and uh, Jordan uh, Football Association. But at one point, it was, everybody believed it was, uh, you know, uh, cancelled. Goal broke the story. Uh, we were uh, making our own inquiries and all, uh, you know, just, all the indications were that the match was off. Even Mike Kuju, who is the official streaming partner, uh, you know, host, host broadcaster for uh, the match, they put up a tweet that this match is cancelled. And then it turns out, after talking about everything, that the match is on. And and the, look, not hundred percent, but the indications are, the coach wanted this cancelled. He did not want to put the players through this. He knew it was an injury risk. At the morning, by the way, this is confirmed, part of the stadium was flooded in the morning. You know, you saw like, uh, you know, uh, players slipping here and there. That That's because the part of the uh, ground was submerged and they you know, got rid of the water, but the slipperiness still was there. So, looking at all these factors, I just can't imagine AIF of India going on with this match. I still think that the match should not have happened because it was a potential risk. Yes, no major injuries. Uh, yes, we put on a like 
uh, respectable show despite not having a proper striker in our uh, squad but it it was a risk did we need to take this kevin uh big 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 uh, decisions to make over there uh, obviously for us uh, we won't know the integrities of what actually went through uh, but we, no in a way yeah it it was a big risk to uh, play uh, players who, who are not, not we, you can say they are not uh, ready for that game obviously uh, uh, preparation uh, was not enough there was there wasn't enough time less than 24 hours being uh, into a match you know that really doesn't uh, that's not the standard that uh, you know fifa has already told and mm-hmm. that's uh, recommendable by even uh, coaching standards so yeah i think the the, have, the cutoff is 29 hours before a match you have to reach uh, and and that's enforced that if if you like Going for Asian Cup uh, but or yeah, World but Cup that, qualifiers. That doesn't, count, that, that doesn't take into account, uh, you know, the 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 hours that you've travelled. So yeah. it, it could have been a, a shorter journey, and then you say it's 29 hours. Uh, but this is this is whole lot more than you know having the stipulated time uh, in in your control. But this is you know, this was tough. Really, uh, it could have been avoided. Uh, uh, probably, you know, have this uh, uh, this penalty on another day. But uh, since it was already lined up as you know back-to-back fixture for Jordan, probably you know they also had preparations to do, uh, and uh, there was no spare day probably to you know, mm-hmm. uh, play before the Saudi Arabia game. So Jordan would have been okay; it would have been cancelled. But for India, it was a big ask. So you, you don't come along this this juncture so often that you know, you've you, uh, had decisions to make earlier. But for India, it would have been a you know, big uh, blow had we not even uh, got to play uh, this game. Uh, yeah, it, it was top. It was top decision to you know go ahead and play, risking injury, risking that uh, recovery period, uh, because you you play you know your players are half cooked at that time. Yeah. And yeah. but again, uh, I I think uh, going ahead and playing it uh, smartly. I think what uh, Stephen Constant did, uh, I will agree to the way you know we have approached the game on the field. Uh, we didn't have to not we we obviously had tired legs, but. The, also, we we didn't want to put a hundred percent to you know, work to get the ball back, and that's yeah. exactly you know how the game transpired. Yes, we will get into the game details, uh, but you know, big decisions to be made before the game, and uh, it can be a lesson for us, uh, you know, to you know, plan things better. Obviously, uh, some unavoidable circumstances cannot be in our control, but uh, yeah, uh, always a game, uh, a day to remember for Indian football. Yeah, well, uh, obviously it's. I, I just think uh, that the AIF yeah, threw the players under the bus on this occasion. They should have stood up. You know, it, uh, the the travel arrangements were poor. Poor. I mean, if if uh, well, let's not even go go that deep into the travel arrangements because in the end, the decision was to whether to put players in a situation like this and whether to put the coach in a situation like this where you don't have your best players available. Sunil is out with an injury. JJ and Balman are too tired to play. Uh, so many of, of the very essential players uh, were unavailable uh, for this match. He didn't even have a proper full bench. So just they should have stood up, man. I mean, we we remember the India versus Puerto Rico game where they reached uh, uh, just 15 hours before the game, uh, uh, and uh, you know they they lost three 0 It never turns out well when the uh, journey is, has gone wrong. You know, uh, same thing happened uh, when India played Oman in the World Cup qualifiers. Uh, they were stuck in the airport for one night. Uh, next day, they turned up. Uh, they had uh, like, uh, I think, one day of recovery and one training session before playing Oman and they lost the game. Here, they had no training session, no recovery at all. Just just went in uh, and played the game after uh, such a harrowing experience. And uh, I, I just wish AIF had stood up for Indian Indian football and uh, you know on, on the players. Um, the match itself was okay. I mean, uh, a lot of interesting things uh, that we're going to talk about. Uh, you know, in a in a way, it made the game interesting in certain ways that we didn't have certain players available and we were in uh, in unexpected situations that that made the team react in certain ways. Uh, we will go into the details uh, about what it, it actually happened in the match and how it played out after the break. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another week on the IVM Podcast Network. If you're not following us on social media, please make sure that you are. We are IVM Podcast on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. 
I have a little bit of news for people. We are releasing a new version of our app, and as part of that, we're running a beta program. We have about 40 slots left for different users to participate in the beta program. And if you'd be interested in doing that, please go to our website, ivmpodcast.com slash app beta. That's ivmpodcast.com slash A-P-P-B-E-T-A. Over there, you'll be find a form which will let you submit your email address to us and we'll invite you into the beta. Again, it's a limited availability, so we're only going to be able to invite so many people. But if you're interested, please do subscribe. And this week on Cyrus Says, Cyrus talks to stand-up comedian Saurabh Mehta about moving from HR to comedy and positioning himself as the first giant stand-up comic. On Simplified this week, the guys talk to Atul Churamani of Magna Sound about the golden age of indie pop in the 90s. On the season finale of the Kind of Living podcast, Coach Urmi spoke to fellow NTC trainer Kunal Rajput and they talk about kettlebell sports, powerlifting and how his dad, a Mumbai-based bodybuilder, inspired him to pursue his fitness career. And starting November 19th, we have a very exciting project. We're starting our first history project with Anirudh Kanisetti. It's called Echoes of India. Please do catch it on the IVM podcast app, website or wherever you get your podcast from. And with that, let's continue on with your show. Welcome back. After the break, me and Kevin were talking about how the lead up to the match happened and whether it should have happened or not. Uh, but let's get down to the match itself. Kevin, I saw the uh, starting lineup and five defenders, uh, no pro- classic striker, and I knew what was going to happen. Like, like after the match, the first thing I would get on uh, WhatsApp is somebody saying. But we played so defensive, and I was like, I was like, ah, I'm gonna have a <laughs> night of face palming here. <laughs> what did you think, man, for the starting lineup? Look, when when the starting lineup came up, came up already, you know, uh, you had questions. Where are the players that you were expecting to to be seen in in the first eleven? Yeah. Uh, they're obviously not there. So the ones who don't uh, know about that obviously did not you know uh, manage to find out what the Indian team went through. Uh, but you know, somewhere we we knew we were up for surprises uh, looking at the starting lineup, and mm-hmm. there we are. Uh, and uh, I, I think it was smart for 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 uh, Constantine to uh, go ahead and play uh, the players that he chose to, because I think he didn't have much choice over there, mm-hmm. uh, because uh, obviously not all players you know of were available in time to even have a small tactical session to go ahead and uh, you know, uh, prepare for this game. So all it came down to is uh, it wasn't you know uh, the best of uh, the, the thoughts that uh, you could have for the game. It was more of you know how to how to survive, yeah. and that was precisely you know that uh, showed up in the lineup. And uh, the first 15 minutes, I think uh, it was clear what India were up to. And again, Jordan came up with a plan. You know, they, they didn't just uh, want to just run over India. They just want to tire uh, India by just keeping the ball. And I, I, the, I, I don't remember India touching the ball for more than uh, a minute <laughs> till the 14 or 15 minutes. <laughs> so that that was the game plan that Jordan came up with. They wanted to keep the ball in their half. Uh, three or four defensive uh, you know, guys just dropping in into their whole defensive half, uh, asking for the Indian player to come and uh, take the ball. So that was the whole idea. You know, uh, draw the Indian players out of their own uh, defensive half. And uh, probably, you know, wait for the tired legs and then attack. But it didn't work out that way. You know, India were already prepared to go and, uh, you know, use up uh, the energy that they had. And it was smart. You know, it was tactical. And, and you, you can't really, you know, uh, expect too much from, from uh, a situation like this. So you had to go ahead with, with the strength, with the techniques and the ability of the players that you had available at that time. I think was, that was the best thing to do for Constantine. Yeah, I imagine uh, just going in there. Yeah, so this players who were stranded were JJ Balwant, Manveer, Sumit Pasi, uh, and and I think that's the only reason Sumit Pasi did not start. Otherwise, he would have definitely started because how can he not? Uh, <laughs> Udanta did not. Uh, uh, Udanta was stuck. Uh, Holi Charan was stuck. Ashik was stuck. Among all these players, only Sumit Pasi, uh, you know, made it uh, as a substitute uh, into the game. Which tells you that uh, you know he's he's so far superior than everybody else who was uh, stuck in that situation because he can overcome it and uh, deliver uh, a little bit of uh, time uh, on the on the pitch while the others cannot. So yeah, it's a it it was strange to see though uh, you know when we were going in of course uh, not having Udanta pretty much killed our chance of like taking uh, Jordan on uh, with their pace, but. Anirudh Thapa up front, you know, just 
it it just seemed like seemed like a bad dream that was uh, coming to you know uh, jerry lawrence was having to play uh, so far ahead vinith uh, rai i think he gave a good account uh, pranay haldar was there of course. that was a solace and how lucky we are that gurpreet singh sandhu that did not get stuck in the airport uh, with with those other players so so yeah i mean just just look, looking at uh, this uh, india were happy to let the other team just keep the ball and uh, just uh, just wait for them to uh, attack i think they just uh, went in there with the plan that kuch bhi ho jaye we we are not we are not playing that game where we are uh, you know gonna get gonna get into a uh, you know back and forth with this team let's just let's just uh, you know because they did not have a proper preparation sessions or uh, proper practice sessions i think they treated the first 20 minutes of the game as uh, you know the the warm up or the or the proper match practice for this game so we saw that it was not until jordan started making substitutions that really uh, saw india getting into the game and this was after the goal happened so uh, so we'll we'll get into that first of all penalty saved by gurpreet man like how how awesome was that the penalty that was given it had no business being being given yeah but just just the way you know he just judged it uh, and um, made you know dove to the right it, it just it just makes you feel bad that uh, the way the first goal was considered isn't it i think uh, first thing what you mentioned about gurpreet being there if it wasn't for gurpreet i don't think we would we would have seen a much much uh, we would have seen a horrible score line holy crap so, i can't even imagine thankfully you no know, gurpreet was there and uh, no it is just no is this so funny that that the penalty was given the way you know it, it really wasn't it shouldn't have stood over there mm. uh, but it, it's questionable the questions uh, are being asked about referees everywhere so it doesn't matter whether, whether you're in india or abroad mm. uh, it does happen uh, yeah uh so coming back to the save you know he he uh, gurpreet knew you know he already judged uh, where, where where the striker is going to put it and look at the size of that palm so it was a save it wasn't a parry it was it was, it was more like you know he's got two palms together and that 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 is how he made the save it was and, and the technique it says you know just putting it wide of the goal post and uh, and then you know you had their defense cover uh, immediately of the follow up and it's yeah. tremendous work for from the defense as well yeah i mean and that was the thing man i i always thought it's so unfair man because uh, you know played as a goalkeeper back in uh, college it's so unfair that if you make a penalty save the game does not stop and mm-hmm. you're down on the ground and the uh, ball is ricocheting back to the other players and some other player when you're on the ground some bastard gets the ball and just uh, you know scores a free one <laughs> and then all the work that you put in uh, uh, while saving the penalty i think this should be there should be a rule change that if the go- the penalty is a separate thing right yeah, if it you can start that in you can start in the isl when more more than get yeah I, mean, <laughs> i don't know man but but it just seems so unfair see uh, take the penalty if the goalkeeper saves it it's an automatic goal kick and that's how the game resumes otherwise it's just not fair because uh, gurpreet was down on the uh, ground when the uh, ball was uh, you know almost going to another jordan player another shot was taken he had to just spring back on his feet and uh, save it if he had not made the second save that would not have been his fault but there was a good chance that uh, any other goalkeeper would have uh, you know let that through on on another day a little bit of uh, angle on that ball and the ball goes in and uh, all that work goes for nothing and we uh you know uh, you know we can see the goal because of a bullshit uh, handball decision uh but you know so the, so the, it 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 was kind of a night of contrast that uh after a few minutes uh, we conceded bizarrely uh, through oh, the oh. uh through the uh, you know us Amir Shafi or uh, Amir Shafi. Shafi, yeah. Amir Shafi. Yeah. Shafi he's like is, the he's like the Shubrat uh, Shubrat Paul of uh, Jordan. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> what luck man is he got his first goal uh, for the national team uh, and and it it's always 
sad when something like that happens no and especially after gurpreet has made that brilliant save and he just gets caught off position and the ball just goes in i was just looking at how like shit you know those are the you kind know, of the, yeah these, these are the kinds of goals that a goalkeeper will concede once in his entire career yeah and that's the one that keeps you up at night yeah. that's the one that you, But, re- you regret know, for years afterwards Chiru, I'll tell you something interesting. You know, the, the, there was a debate I had with one of the Olympians uh, I met over the weekend, and uh, you know, it happened to be uh, uh, his opinion was uh, it was a bad goalkeeping decision that he was off his line. But I was completely in his agreement. You now, uh, if you just you know rewind back and uh, understand how that uh, how how the goal was uh, scored, uh, Gurpreet was uh, off his way off his line. and he made a clearance which the which landed the ball directly in amir shafi's hands mm. and he had about 12 seconds to get back to his you know position and you know prepare for that uh, drop kick that amir shafi got away with and you know, he was quick to get back to his position but it's very natural it's you know it, it, you, you don't see a goalkeeper standing on his line uh, when uh, the opposing goalkeeper has the ball in their uh, hand and he's about to take a drop kick So his positioning was right. You no, know, it missed the bounce, and it's the bounce that you know it killed it. You can never you know prepare for that. The, even the number of hours that you put in training, you can't have a situation that simulates the bounce of the ball and going above a guy who is about six feet, way above six feet. Mm. So this, I feel, you know, it's, it's just once in a career that you suffer, and it is uh, sad that we had to go through that. You know, part of the reason why he was off the line was because uh, a, a Jordan striker was chasing the ball. The Indian defense was completely caught off guard, and on yeah, it was seven, meant for for the strikers. I yeah, mean, Shafi's, yeah. Uh, drop kick was meant for the strikers. Yeah, and 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 you know, uh, if I was in Amir Shafi's uh, position, I might not celebrate. I wouldn't yeah. celebrate that ball. Yeah, it wasn't meant to be. Yeah, because he see the the reason the ball went to the goal was because he missed his target. He he overdid it. The idea was to give it to the striker who was running ahead, and that's why Gurpreet had to be off his line because the natural uh, thing for him to do would be to come out and intercept the striker. That's that's what he had to do. But the uh, you know shot was too high, or uh, uh, I don't know if if there was an issue with the bounce in certain areas of the pitch. Uh, just completely took him by surprise, and uh, it went in. free goal doesn't happen 99% yeah. of the time right yeah. but but this this no point like blaming gurpreet for it it just anybody it would have happened to anybody uh so uh, the first goal happens and uh, about uh, you know towards the end of the first half we see the substitutions happening because uh, at this point mm. india is just not uh, getting any uh, you know chance with the ball they are simply just uh you know just just trying to uh, just 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 trying to be in the game man and appear like they are putting up a fight uh one one chance came out when the first corner came right and uh, uh, i think it was vinit rai for the first chance uh, who was uh, who got the who who was unmarked by the way and this is this is a this is going to be a recurring theme that the jordan defense was not like optimally prepared for whatever reason Vinith Rai got the ball. He was completely unmarked, and a, a, on a better day or or a better player, maybe I don't know which one it is, would have chested the ball down and just gone for it within the next second. With would have gone for it, and the and the goalkeeper was completely not in the line to uh, defend that. That would have been a goal for us. Yeah, that would have been a one-one right there. But his first touch was not good enough, and he could not take the shot. and at you know i was i was just clutching at my hair at that point uh, what what did you think of that moment man yeah the, you know correctly put it out uh, india did not did see much of the ball you know all they had to do is uh, wait, wait wait in their own half and probably you know uh, hit the counter attack button uh, but uh, you know india were you know, slightly tactically prepared for this uh, mm-hmm. you would get the ball and then uh, the tactics tactics were that you know your wingers close in uh, converge in the middle and that's how you know probably uh, we did have ha- half a chance before we actually you know uh, went down to nil mm-hmm. uh, uh you know, this is again coming to probably being played off position then you that you were 
no you prepared or practiced for so you can't really blame uh, uh, vinit rai or probably no even uh, pranay halda for that matter at the end of the game yeah. it's all about you know, not being played in your regular position and this is one game that everybody wants to forget but you have to play it you know, mm-hmm. according to that situation and you have to play and you have to give your best so probably it's a result of you not know, being not playing in the natural position yeah well uh, obviously almost everybody was out of position uh, of, of course like after they were making uh, substitutions jordan were uh, i think they were giving chances to some of the younger players and uh, suddenly uh, india were playing so much better you know uh, and uh, and what an impact nishu had once he came on the goal he got i thought a little was a little bit lucky but when he was in charge of the midfield trying to drive the game it seemed like yes we were seeing a contest where uh, you know both teams were having a fair amount of position uh, possession and uh, india were actually capable of uh, you know pushing back and i was even thinking like should i you know should i hope should i not maybe we'll get a second goal here what what do you think his his performance nishu oh, what a what a start for him you know, the this the opportunity to <laughs> to come into and playing for the national team and yeah. such a situation to be in. Now, he would be thinking, this is not the ideal debut that I would be looking for. Mm. But he had to do the job. Yeah. I think it was fair to bring him at a time where he, we, we, uh, we've known Nishu for his pace uh, and we've seen him you know, contribute for uh, Bengaluru FC you know, through his pace, through his uh, excellent crosses. Uh, and you know, that, that, you know, I, again, I'll come back to the uh coaching bit where you know you are limited with choices and you you've got uh, a couple of players you who think you know are the right players uh, to be introduced at the right moment and it worked wonders for india you know, had we not gotten that goal had we not finished because you know he was totally unmarked on, on the far end and all he did uh, all he uh, all he wanted to do is you know not miss not miss because uh, it's a situation where uh, you know it's an open goal it's a sitter if you if you don't don't uh, get your shot on target mm. but he had to keep his calm and cool calm finish for him yeah well uh brilliantly uh you know displayed by uh, uh nishu kumar uh, he's what uh, nine, 967th player to uh, debut, debut under <laughs> stephen constantine it's just I don't know I hope he gets to 1000 by the time Asian Cup comes along uh, he probably it, it, it could have been uh, Komal Thatal also had he yeah. been well, Komal Komal Thatal I just don't know what happened with it he just he <laughs> do din ke liye aaya dekha hai and uh, no it's okay you can go back uh, we're not taking you there uh, yeah I mean I don't know at, at that point I would have uh, but given Anirudh Thapa playing out of position up front I would have I would prefer Komal Thatal out there so yeah uh, that that worked out pretty well the uh, second goal uh, i don't know man it it was a good goal uh, it uh, it was a good classic goal yeah, no, you yeah. can't you can't really do anything which uh, the squad put out so it it's difficult mm. it was a good counter attack uh, measure that uh, jordan probably you know if uh, you know i feel somehow uh, jordan could have done this more uh, yeah. had they been been uh, you know if india would have been their full strength but uh, probably somewhere you no know, you you can expect uh, jordan to go a little softer in there knowing the set, uh, you know the, the set of uh, circumstances that we went through probably uh, but all in all it was a good goal uh, something that you know india can really hope that uh, he can emulate mm, yeah and uh, here, here was uh, the situation that uh, almost got a draw for us and what a result that would have been uh, narayan das uh, in another corner yeah uh, it's, it's two of our best chances came from the uh, set pieces and uh, narayan das's corner comes in uh, and uh, sumit pasi obviously like imagine a assist for pasi in a game like this uh, what an awesome thing that would have been uh, goes to pranay haldar who lunges for the ball falls just short had he connected that this game is 2-2 and we are hailing indian team for delivering uh-huh. the impossible this is how close yeah. this was in the end isn't it it was of course and uh, uh, he was already on a yellow card there no early yeah. in the game i was just wondering uh, the last thing that we want is a man down against jordan and uh, he kept his mind uh, in, in in the field he kept his mind where we you know uh, where we wanted uh, to play this friendly 
and uh, he stood there for 19 minutes and what a chance that uh, he got in the end uh, i wouldn't count it as you know i wouldn't the market as a completely open chance it was a it was probably a half chance uh, a, a, a midfield or a strike would have been uh, much better so he he is more with the defensive abilities and on this finishing uh, capabilities are not really you know, um, up there and probably you got uh, the fatigue to blame on as well mm. so you are towards the end of the game you want to finish the game and that that this thing is in your mind you know you get in that goal get in the goal but your legs give away you know it's probably that uh, the case of you know fatigue getting in yeah uh, a couple of times i was a little bit worried uh, i saw players slip i saw uh, you know the uh, some of the physically physicality of the game towards the end of the game i was just you know praying that uh, we don't see cramps because that was yeah. my main worry just going into this game uh, somebody is going to cramp up and miss one month uh, of action or some some shit like that thankfully none of that happened india lost uh, but we came out uh, with something from this match i think i think we just what the the big lesson from here is that uh it's it's a credit to constantina and um, uh, there is there's going to be no knock on him for the defensive uh, game play or uh, or the loss or anything like that if 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 that's that's where you are uh, in terms of you know just was wanting constantine out and all that stuff uh, uh you know reassess your priorities because he's going to be our coach in the asian cup uh, asian cup uh, and uh, it's it's just not practical to uh, you know kick him when he's uh, in a bad position and playing in a game like this but yeah what what we saw was that the indian team has enough depth that they can survive a crisis where almost what for 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 like five or six starters just become suddenly unavailable for various reasons right if, even if so many players are missing out and it's a, it's an uh, it's a bad emergency kind of situation they can still put on a performance and would we have thought this was possible if we had not seen it happen actually kevin that <laughs> so many so many players missing and uh, india still puts on a side that in, in the end uh, becomes competitive mm. no, i think it's so the experience it wasn't a and game that you know we we uh, could take away a lot of uh, it, it it's i will still uh, you know say jordan was, was like a soft on us probably i think yeah, it yeah. was announced yeah, yeah. He, he, the squad that they came up with it was in a 100% the you know, squad that they want to take to the asian cup but uh, really really uh, dude compare their not 100% squad to our barely 15% squad. Yeah. yeah it yeah. was not even close. They they still mm. they still put out a squad that was intended to win and had enough mm. firepower and enough experience that yeah. that completely like out out ranked or outweighed our team. So yeah that was And the, even it was in the, they were the home team. You, yeah. you can really expect them to play play their best even if they've not got uh, the strongest of the squad. Mm. But for India I think it's it's a great respect that we went ahead and play the friendly you know it is uh, something that you no know, it just keeps your ties uh, healthy it keeps them you know uh, the, your your word is there that uh, you know probably it is part of the preparation and uh, all in all you know it is the similar squad that's going to face uh, saudi arabia for jordan so it is let's accept the fact that uh, india you no know, kept healthy relations just to go ahead and play and even give their best you know Uh, let's just keep aside the circumstances. Mm. It's more of a good show. I think we should be proud of that. Yeah, in the end, that's what it's all about. Sometimes the games uh, go beyond themselves, and be- it becomes a situation. Maybe the uh, the flood victim relief that was part of this match, uh, where ticket sales uh, would uh, help fund the reliefs uh, for the people affected by floods. Maybe that was a yeah. factor. Maybe this was a historic occasion, first friendly between these two match- uh, teams. a rare occasion and uh, uh, you know india needed to step up and they did it uh, credit credit to it i would still say they sh- uh, they should have looked out for the players and cancelled but uh, either way you know they they did put and give a good account of themselves and maybe they they acted out or they played more than just a match out there maybe this is going to yeah. have a yeah, lot of goodwill 
this is more more than football yeah uh, absolutely great to see the atmosphere man like half half yeah. the stadium was full <laughs> but uh, chants and everything it was it was pretty good and uh, some indian ex- uh, expats were out there uh, who were living there who turned up at the game good stuff isn't it i mean all in all a good night of football and when it, it what is football if not overcoming uh, adversities that you don't foresee right the right. adversity that the jordan jordanian people went through with the floods that they did not foresee and uh, this football match was part of uh, overcoming that indian team went through a crisis that they did not foresee and uh, they still went ahead and played and uh, it became a symbolic gesture that they can even overcome that so in the end i think those are the biggest takeaways uh do you want to see uh you know a, a squad like this being used in a, a pre- preparatory friendly or a practice match uh, no. To... no 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay if, i was going if, too far if, <laughs> yeah if, if, if yes then uh, probably no get in the players uh, at least at the national positions mm-hmm. uh, because it doesn't help uh, no uh, to justify what uh, preparation we've gone into mm-hmm. uh, this is not what uh, you know we had ideally thought about that uh, this is the way we will play it out uh, but uh, yeah this is a straight answer for that no i wouldn't want this team to play again mm-hmm. at least you know in, in, in a formation or a, a position this way all i'm saying is that uh, you know when we are going to face uae or uh, a team like that or bahrain they're going to be way more uh, attacking than uh, you know jordan and maybe five defenders or six defenders or seven defenders who knows that <laughs> that might make sense uh, but we'll see we'll see how it goes uh, you know uh, we are what we were just like 40 48 days away from the asian cup man it's almost here uh, we have an oman friendly coming up uh, next month maybe we will see uh, another friendly being snuck in maybe you know australia friendly rumor is uh, still going around uh, apparently you know, they were talking to saudi arabia as well uh, to to get a game before the asian cup matches come around we'll see what happens for now the players are back uh, they will be going back to the rsl team and the one eye league team uh, and all that uh, so so yeah i mean I'm glad I got to see this match. I'm I'm just not that glad it happened. Uh so yeah. <laughs> uh what any any t- final takeaways Kevin? Ah. Uh, ah uh, really you no know, a, a game like this is just for memories. It, it's not for a really learning experience but, mm. uh, with uh, footballing aspects. It's just a learning you know, as a footballing nation. Uh probably you know we can uh, uh take this into account uh, going and planning uh another friendly or any of the tournament that we are going heading into uh mm-hmm. maybe administrative some uh, no, some decisions that could have been done well uh, i i'm really not saying uh, that we've done something wrong but uh, probably you no know, we can plan a little better next time yeah plan a little better you know just get a charter plane or something or book the flights in a little bit m- more advance because this game was supposed to happen like two months ago and and i i'm not ready to believe that they could not find uh, all all of them uh, seats in one plane it's it's just ridiculous how the uh, you know bookings were made and all that stuff and i don't know man usually they just go for direct flights uh, why, why does aifl need to save money on the national team struggles i, I have no idea uh, anyway uh, so that was the episode for the day uh, thanks for listening uh, we're going to be coming back next week for, uh, with uh, updates from i league uh, and isl uh, lots of interesting stuff happening uh, we'll be at the thick of it bringing you detailed accounts uh, of uh, all the narratives all the grapevine stuff all the on field and off field action uh, in the indian football world so you can listen to this podcast uh, on any n number of uh, podcast platforms that you like itunes stitcher uh soundcloud uh you can listen to this on the ivm podcasts app where you can find all the best podcasts that india has to offer uh ivmpodcast.com is also another website that you can find it on uh please follow uh tfg football on twitter and uh, check out uh the uh, fan garage website for all the latest on indian football 
in fact one of the big things that we didn't even talk about today was uh, a, a situation where apparently one of the assistant referees uh, tried to fight the head coach of chennai city in the chennai city was was as well as the game which was bizarre stuff we don't have enough time to get into it we will come back and revisit uh, that issue in the future i have no doubt about it so yes uh, thanks for listening come back to us next week take care bye bye every week comes a show where three people come together to tell you about stuff they like a movie a tv show a book and other stuff tune in every monday on the ivm podcast app to ivm likes Batman approves this message. Thank you, Batman. Long, long ago, not in Bethlehem, but in a place nearby, there was a wonderful birth of a huge show, which I like to call Cyrus Says, a show that encapsulates everything in human history, from the first Homo sapien to the last Homo sapien. Uh, who's traversed the entire world and then come back to India? This is a show which tells you everything about everything. If you want to know, avoid Google. Come to us. It's called Cyrus Says. Get new episodes every Monday and Thursday on the IVM Podcast app, website, or wherever you get your podcasts from. It's simple as A B. Oh God, what comes after that?